Welcome back. All right, we're going to finish up our legs. Um, and we've got our reverse foot and everything set up on both sides, which is great. Uh, but we do have one problem. We don't have a lot of control over our knee on our reverse foot in our IK foot here. So uh, the biggest problem is when we take it up high, it's going to pop that down. Ooh. And it gets real ugly um, right now. If we twist our foot, it's going to twist our knee, which is fine for the most part. But what if we just want to partially twist it? We don't have a lot of control over that. So there are a couple options that we can do to solve this issue. Um, and we're going to cover both of those. So one involves a, a pull vector constraint. It's this button right here. We're under constraint, pull vector right there um, and it gives us another control out here that we can move around and will give us um, the functionality that we're looking for to lock that knee in place and it will just always point at that control so it does give you an extra control that you have to animate um, but it's pretty common on rigs uh, the other option is a no flipping option, and it will do the same thing, um, very similar, except that there isn't a control um, out here that floats around. It's just done through the node editor. So we're going to cover both of these really quick. You can choose whichever one you would like to do uh, for your character, whichever one makes you happy. They both solve the problem. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create another control. So we are going to create another NURB circle. Um, and we're going to go to our channel box and go to the history there. We're going to change this to linear again. And I'm going to do 16 sections. And then I'm going to go F8. Um to select those control points, and I'm just going to scale this up. Now, I did all these points because I'm going to make a fancier version, so I'm going to take every other control point all the way around, and I'm going to scale that, and I'm going to make this nice little star type shape. Beautiful. It's fantastic. Okay, it's entirely too big, so I will scale that down a little bit more. Mm, yeah, maybe like that. F8. Now, this is going, we need to name this, and this is going to be our left underscore PV for pull vector. Um, left pull vector. Uh, knee. Control, underscore C. And like all of our other controls, we're going to group it to itself and name it the same thing. Left pull vector knee control underscore GRP for group. And now that we have that in place, what we want to do is we're going to grab that group and we are going to vert snap it all the way up to where our knee is. We want to be right on that knee. Now, we built our joints perfectly up and down uh, this plane. So it is exactly straight, so it makes this really easy. We're going to take that group and we're just going to pull it out. Yeah, maybe, maybe like this. Okay, um, I'm going to shrink that control down a little bit, a little bit more. And then I'm going to rotate it. Um, and then if you press and hold your E and press and hold your left click, you can get this marking menu to pull up. And you can select your discrete rotate there. And then I can just snap this forward a couple times. Um, and that just makes it a little faster than going to your tool settings and going through and selecting the step snap being turned on. Uh, that way. So now that we have that, 
Maybe we'll make it even just a little bit smaller. There we go. We're going to be, we're going to call that good. Okay. Uh, so just like any other constraint, we're just going to take our control. And in this case, we want the pull vector. Our pull vector is kind of buried um, in our foot control. So we'll select our foot control and come over to the outliner. If you press F when you're over the outliner, it's going to frame your selection. So it's going to get there a lot faster. We'll hold shift on our reverse foot to open up all of that. And there is our wonderful left IK ankle. That is the one we want to get to. So we're going to select our pull vector control. And then in our outliner, we'll hit control. And while holding control, we will select the left IK ankle, just like that. And then we're just going to go up to our rigging tab, and we're going to add this pull vector uh, constraint. Um, you can find it under constraint as well. It's right there. There are literally no options for it. It is just the weight. Whether it is on or off, that is the only option. So you don't have to worry about anything. We're just going to click this button right there. It's created that pull vector constraint. And if we take our control now, we can move that around. And we can see now it is twisting our knee, which is most excellent. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our control. And we are going to parent it to our foot control, P. So now when I move my foot around, my, my pull vector control goes with it. When I move it up, it's going to move with it. Um, and then once it gets too far up, we just have to move our pull vector control to get it out here so that it is following where we want it to. So as it gets behind, it's going to snap it. So then you just have to move your pull vector control there. So we're going to zero that out and zero that out. So real basic setup here. Um, then, of course, if you like this, you're happy with it, and that's all you want to do, um, then the easiest thing to do is we want to create another control and for our right side. So in that case, we would hit Control D on our left PV knee group to duplicate it. And in this case, we are going to uh, hit Shift P. We're going to unparent it. And then we got to change the name to the right side so that is where we are okay and then we need to get it to the other side um, and uh, use mirror so if we want the control to be mirrored then we want to do what we did the last time and we'll group it again to itself that places a uh, the group at world center and then we'll just call that the right underscore PV for pull vector knee control orient group. And then we're just going to change the scale to minus one, just like that. And now we have our right side. And we would do the same thing. We've got to find the same pull vector control on the right side, which is right here, right IK ankle. We will select that. Oh, we'll select our right pull vector knee, and then control select our right IK ankle, and click the button again. So now we have that set up, um, and it's going to have the same functionality um, that our other mirrored controls are. And then we're going to parent this one, same thing. We are going to parent it to our foot control. So we'll hit P to parent it and 
make sure everything is still good. And we're good. Yeah. Um, other thing to do would be to change the color of your controls. So since this is on the left side, we want to give it a nice blue color. So we'll select that and go to our attribute editor and go into our drawing overrides. Once again, check enable overrides, scroll to the color we want. I'm going to use a nice light blue, like that one. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. And this time I'm going to use a light red, which is pink. Light red is pink. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, aren't they cute? Okay. So at that point, you're basically done setting up your leg. Easy peasy. Okay. If you want something a little more sophisticated, um and slightly more complicated to set up, but really pretty nice. Um, I'm going to show that to you next.